Ooh, baby, do you know what that's worth? Joe Miller is the best on earth. On loan from Celtic, we love Abergreen. Today's the League Cup semi-final, though, and he doesn't make the team. Red Shed, if you need someone to lead the chance. I'm your man. I'm sure everybody's loving that one. You're welcome. Yes, today we are playing Rangers in the League Cup semi-final at Hamden. However, since you last saw, we have played a fair few games. And you might remember that we had to play them and deal with an Ian Jess injury. And it was absolutely massive. However, one man did step up, I referenced him in the intro, and filled the void excellently. And I love him now. It's Joe Miller. Right now, since joining Aberdeen on loan from Celtic, returning to Pataudry, Joe Miller has made nine appearances, scoring five goals, getting one assist, and having one player of the match, living an average rating of 9.24, which is very, very decent. However, I'll go in a little bit more depth. Ho oh, ho. You last saw us draw, uh, beat Motherwell 1 0 in the Scottish League Cup quarter final. We did then lose to Dundee United. Very, very unfortunate. But Stuart McKinney got sent off after four minutes. So I'm blaming that. I'm blaming that absolutely entirely. We bounced back with a 5 1 win over Falkirk and Joe Miller stepped up. A hat trick of goals. Deriva scored a free kick. Mixu Patalainen scored. Motherwell up next once again. A smashed 4 0 victory. Brian Evans scored twice, and as you can see, Joe Miller, once again, 1-0 against St. Johnston. Ian Jess, back. 2-2 against Celtic, against the team Joe Miller's on loan from. We could not play him, and it was very, very Abergreeny. Disgusting! The spoils were shared. A 2-2 draw, and Charlie Nicholas scored, former Aberdeen player, now at Celtic. It was just so bloody lovely. What a loving it was. People aren't going to enjoy these jokes, are they? 5-1 against Hibernian. They won't enjoy that at all. A scoreline that has haunted them over the years, it's fair to say. Before we destroyed Partick Thistle 10-2. And that game is the reason we're not going to play the game today against Dundee. Because I expect it to be very, very routine at home. So it will just be on the League Cup semi-final. All eyes on the big game. We currently sit seven points ahead of Rangers in the league, but that means nothing. The form goes out the window. We all know they are very, very decent. They beat us in real life in the final in the 1992-93 season. And this is the side I am trusting to rewrite history. Theo Schnellers in goals, Wright, Irvin, McLeish and McKimmy, of course, with Richardson in protecting as that quarterback spraying those passes, baby. We've got Jim Bett and Paul Mason ahead of him, Ian Jess back in and Super Joe Miller on the bench. Let's see if he can come on and score against Rangers. I'm sure everybody would love that involved with Abergreen. Mixu Patalainen and Scott Booth up top. We're going to take off this early crosses stuff. It's not been working for us. We've got options off the bench though. Not just Super Joe Miller. Ten cats in there. Duncan Shearer. I am absolutely loving it. We've been playing so well that even Stephen Glass has played two games lately. We have got a diamond Stephen Glass. A dandy. He came from USA. Enough about that. I'm in a good mood. Let's not bring the mood down by talking about him too much. The Rangers side, managed by Walter Smith, of course. Andy Gorham, Gary Stevens, Richard Goff, John Brown, David Robertson, the swine. Ooh, you're hard, showing off. Trevor Stephen, Ian Durant, OM, Hustra, Haley, and oh dear, Ali McCoist is back for Rangers. And I'm not happy about that. Let's have a quick look before we get into things at how good he is. I believe he scored... Over 40 goals this season in real life. Uh, oh my god, he's bloody good. And if we are to win today, then we need to keep him quiet. And I thought John keeping John Robertson quiet would be very, very difficult. Here are the sides. Oh, that is lovely with all the images we have in there. That is very skinny, that partnership up top, though. But hopefully we will still have enough about us. We've got two fantastic centre-backs in Alex McLeish and Brian Irvin. A couple of the best in the game. Liverpool even bidded for Alex McLeish in the transfer window, which I forgot to mention, obviously was turned down. But OM has a free kick inside five minutes and oh, God, it's gone badly. Oh, this could be a long one. This could be a very, very long one. I want to win the treble in this rewriting history series. Yeah, 
but I mean, I want an 11 inch penis, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> It's not going well. Um, if we falter now that Ali, uh, Ali McCoy is back at every single hurd hurdle, um, I will be very upset. And Rangers might get a second goal here. I'm going to put us onto a cautious mentality. Maybe it's too little too late. Ian Durant in the middle of the park finding Stephen with Stevens. That's very, very confusing. On that right-hand side, oh God, I'm not happy about it. Stuart McKimmy nicking in though. He's got bodies ahead of them. Does not find any of them. Instead, gives the ball away. Richardson nicking in though. Now Patalainen combining with Mason. Let's see if we can create something of our own. An early equaliser would be absolutely fantastic. As Scott Booth does not quite get there and it goes all the way back to Andy Gorham who absolutely leathers it up the park. Taken down easily though. By Alex McLeish. Oh, come on. This is too oh, nerve-wracking for my liking. Jim Betts slipping Ian Jess in behind. And he loves a goal versus Rangers, baby. Oh, the last episode was all about him. Oh, this next episode might be all about him as well. What a lovely goal that was. And we are back levels. John Brown did not quite do enough. Booth laid off the bet and slipped in behind. Ian Jess... Absolutely nobody tracking him. He's in the hole there. They've got two normal centre mids, no holding midfielder, meaning he should be free every single day of the week. And he was there, wasn't he? Sorry, Rangers fans. <laughs> I'm not sorry. The Schnellers into Lee Richardson, who finds Stuart McKimmick, who has been absolutely excellent despite being a natural right back on that left hand side as he gives the ball away. So, thank you. Stuart, if you are listening, I'm sure you are. Absolutely fucking not. Stevens on the ball, looking for Ian McCoy, but it's cut out by Big Eck, and Brian Irvin goes long. Pataline inflicts it on, and Booth might get in behind here. He's got a chance, and it's 2-1! What a turnaround! His second goal, 22nd goal of the season already, and we're 2 and up inside 20 minutes. What was all the panic for? What was all the panic? Can we set a date with Destiny and tick off the first trophy? this in this tournament that is oh, Dundee United in the final they beat Celtic not very Abergreen of them Duncan Ferguson the man that scored the goal but we are 2-1 up Jess and Booth the gruesome twosome have us in front and I am very very happy and Brian Evan winning that header boo everybody boo boo hope you all joined in at home there Hustra's ball in. It's headed clear by Big Eck and Mika finds Ian Durant and oh dear, half an hour in, McCoist equalises. This is absolute bedlam and it's just as well I'm only doing one game because it's action packed baby. 2-2 two -two inside half an hour. Mm, we can't defend. But my god, we can score goals. Couldn't even keep a clean sheet against Partick Thistle and we scored 10. That's how bad they were. Regardless, fantastic finish, unfortunately, by Ali McCoy. That's what he does, keeping him quiet. Always going to be a problem, and we have not done it, so... Well done, us. Corner, though. Ian Jess putting it in towards the near post. McLeish! Woo! Ian Jess is maybe the best player in the world, and I wish I was being... I wish I was joking. I wish I was joking. A great ball in. Alex McLeish finding that top corner. Not quite sure how. Doesn't seem realistic. But I will take it. Can we keep an advantage going in to half time? We don't deserve it. Looking at the stats there. But who gives a toss? Not me. Not you. We are up 3-2 at half time. I am delighted with this. We've done very well. Keep working hard and give our fans something to celebrate. They seem delighted. I'm delighted. Are you delighted? If you're delighted, leave a like on the video and subscribe if you've not done so already. It goes a long, long way in helping me. It makes me a very, very happy boy. Thank you very much. Mixu Pata lining. Flicks it on for Scott Booth, but it's cut out. And John Brown boots it clear. McKimmy did not get there and Rangers will look to level things up once again early in the second half. Hately has hoo -hoo, as we'd say do, done exactly that he's not he's not done exactly that soccer uh oh though rangers have a free kick and i might look like an idiot i'm also recording at 12 to midnight so shouting was not a good idea but that free kick was blocked after he did score one inside four minutes so i'm very grateful for that as stephen wright heading it clear but john brown picking up the scraps Oh dear, oh dear, and Lee Richardson 
has given away a penalty. Might be nearly as hard as Neil Cooper. Father Neil? Um, not a priest. However, he's clearly more of an idiot. Ian Durant scores. Mm, I'm sure Rangers fans would enjoy that one. I am not enjoying it. But we'll watch it again, will we? Just for the pain. He sent Snellers the wrong way. <laughs> Very good. You win this one, Ian. Well done. Dear Lord, what a sad little life. Ian. We're going to bump things up onto positive as we've not really seen much but Jim Bett has a corner and if we score here I am an absolute genius because I just put us onto positive and that definitely affected that corner because they all felt so good they were just in a great headspace you could say they felt really positive and we've made it 4-3 this is absolute chaos Jim Bett this time getting the assist Brian Irvin this time getting his head on the ball and Captain Paraiso scores for the Dandy Dons Zer Magnifique Two languages mixed in one there. There's nothing I can't do except keep a lead against Rangers, so that's fun. But Kimmy nicking in there, booting it long. Mm. Scott Booth did not try to challenge for the ball, which is, you know, a little bit of a minor, little, tiny, teeny tiny concern. As the ball goes out very easily to David Robertson, who takes it down well, and I really wish we had him. Scratch that. Cack. With a little less than 15 minutes to go though, it's time for a couple of changes. Lee Richardson is going to leave the field of play and big hard man, Roy Aitken, who did he play for? Is going to come on to the field of play and sit in front of that back four and hopefully just protect things. Just don't do anything silly please Aberdeen as we're going to try and keep things a little bit more tight. Also entering the field of play will be... Duncan Cheater, now it's time for you to grab a goal, big fella. He has not been on top form, but he has delivered great performances and done a lot of the dirty work up there as Rangers have a free kick immediately after I make my changes. Ferguson, great save from Theo Schnellers. You're not finding the back of the net with that one. Interesting that OM did not take it, presumably not on the field of play. Ian Durant with the corner, though. He will look to find a man. He has done exactly that, and they found... Um, Nearly the back of the net, but not quite, because they are fools. Ten minutes to go, I'm getting a little bit tetchy. I'm a little bit nervous. You could probably sense my nervous energy throughout the game. Um, not just because I decided to wear suit jacket, football t-shirt. That was because it's not final, semi-final, smart casual, a little bit of in between. I'm feeling less casual about the fact it's now 4-4 with ten minutes to go. No defense, just vibes. McCoy's couldn't miss. Evolumo, however, eh, probably could. Poor Chris, didn't didn't come here to be slagged off, didn't come here at all, did he? You're not here, I right? If you're here, Chris Evolumo, please do let me know in the comments down below. That would be quite the revelation. We're going to go back to what we had before when we were winning, because I feel like changing it was maybe stupid, and I don't fancy extra time, not going to lie, because who knows what would happen. I still don't know if I'm allowed to use extra subs because I'm recording a lot of videos at once before I go to Budapest. Not quite found out yet. McCall heading over the bar. Oh dear lord, we're going to wait and we're going to use our extra sub in extra time if we get there. Not looking like it. Heading over again. Sure McCall loves heading over the bar. Encourage the team. Uh, not long to go. They have been so dominant of us. It's unbelievable. How it is 4-4, I do not know. But I don't know if it's going to finish that way. Oh no, Stephen Wright did not get there. But Brian Irvin did. And he's looking for Scott Booth. McPherson nicks in. Let's see if we can collect this loose ball. Pumped up by Gorham. Irvin winning it. Bet did not react. Ferguson nipping in just before him there. And Stephen, oh no, will Luke get the ball across? He does so. Hately held by Schnelders. And I am very, very nervous. He bowls it out to Brian Irvin. Roy Aitken. Oh, God. Don't just put up for no reason. Oh, Sheeter won it, but it's now back with Ali McCoy, who slips in Haley. I am in incredible pain. Um, I'm not going to look at the screen, and I hope it's not real. Um, um, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it was real. It was real. And we're going to watch the replay. <laughs> Ah, well, the treble's not on. Can't make changes. What's going on? What is going on? Why can't I make changes? 
Oh, brilliant. Now I can make changes with 42 seconds to go. Oh, piss. Piss, piss, piss. This is not what we wanted. Hmm. It couldn't have gone much worse. Um. Sorry for any headphone users. Joe Miller. He, he should have played. He should have played. How many substitutes can I use? Okay, well, sod the rules. So, <laughs> sod. Sod the rules. Okay, so, Duncan Shearer, target man. That's fine. Joe Miller, up there as well. Uh, advance forward, I suppose, as well. And we're going to get Gibson involved as well. Uh, there's no defence. It's just vibes. That's all that's happening here. Uh, not sure if any of the tactics make sense. Throw as many bodies forward as possible for the last 10 seconds. Oh my god. Jim Bett in. No. Duncan Shearer. Clinton give it back to Jim Bett. No, 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 no. Roy Aitken wins it. McLeish, it's bouncing around in there. Not like this. Not like this. Like this. Like this. Booth. McLeish shoots from range. Oh, Alex. Not good enough. And we are out of the cup. So that's good as Rangers have the goal kick. It's well over the allotted time. I don't know why I'm holding on to the mic as if I'm a singer. Don't need to do that. It sits there. It sits there. Andy Gordon taking his sweet time. Boots it long. We still have the ball. Cheer. Going long. Scott Booth maybe in mind. He's got men waiting in the middle. Can he find them? Can we win something? Can we do anything? Scott Booth. No, no, no. Back towards the back post. Theo Tenkat. Why would you blow the whistle there? Right, so, let me just get this straight. In the 1992-93 uh, season, we finished runners-up in everything to Rangers. So far, we've lost them in the semi-final. Not even runners-up, so it's actually going worse than it did back then. So, that's fun. That is really, really fun. And as much as I'd like to show you a big game against Rangers once again, because we could get our own back into the we're going for the title against them and things, it's getting a bit repetitive just playing them every episode. So we'll be back next time with Dundee United and Falkirk, uh, and hopefully we will just smash them so I can feel a lot better about myself. Because right now, I'm not happy. Leave a like on the video, though, if you are. Um, really rub it in. Thank you. Subscribe to help cheer me up please uh, see you next time take care be good I'm gonna go and cry in a darkened room thanks for coming <laughs>